Well guys, I'm feeling a huge request today. A long time ago, a lot of you that have followed my dealership videos at um, our dealership, Car Connections, has probably seen the 1995 Chevy conversion van that we had a while back. Um, ever since I made the videos on that, I've had so many different people trying to get me to find another conversion van, and I haven't been able to until now. You just don't see a whole lot of them anymore. But I'm at Brandon Reeves Auto World in Monroe, North Carolina, and here I have a 2002 Chevrolet Express conversion van. This is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Express. Start it up, show the engine, as well as a bunch of the features on the interior, as well as exterior. And there is a lot of features on the interior. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up and let it run. Key right here. It's got cloth seating. Heck of a lot nicer than that old one. Lots of improvements. Has 78,171 miles on it. Chevy buzzer too. <laughs> it's got an automatic driver's side window. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut on the headlights. Hazards. Pop the hood. It's a 5.7 liter Vortec V8. Way back on in there. Probably just barely see the alternator. See, most of the engines in these vans aren't here, but right here. That's why you have kind of a big hump in the middle of the um, dashboard area. Tires are good. And you gotta love the custom graphics and body flares on these vans. They're unique. This is a clean one indeed. Everything. 
deep storage wells. Yeah, I apologize for that buzzer. lamps simple to use heated mirrors and you also got your rear air This color is just really pretty. It really pops. These vans are extremely luxurious. Get your blinds. Same thing on this side. Adorned in real wood. Extremely roomy. Power rear seat. Folds down into a bed. Can't beat that with the stick. And I believe you have this rack up here for hanging up clothes and such. Now 
now it's time for the good stuff, the back area. This right here is where it's all at. Shade. Everything's covered in soft cloth. And on all these windows you have your side vents. Cavernous space. TV, VCR. I can practically stand up in this thing. And I'm about 5'10, 5'11 or so. Let's get this TV turned on. Here's a shot from the very back seat. It's not hooked up to anything right now. And like I showed you in the front, you have your mood and accent lighting wrapping around. All the wood paneling, pockets. Here's a view from the very front looking back. Manual moving. extra room. Rear audio, CD player, and rear vent with a screen. And if you want your privacy, got another shade. Now if we walk to the back seat, very plush like I showed you, folds out into a bed. Extremely comfortable, very roomy. TV speaker controls, stereo. Speakers are located all around the vehicle. You have sunshade here as well, vent. Another storage compartment. Some more lights. And this is by far the most interesting seatbelt design I've ever seen. What you would do is pull the buckle over and then pull the other strap for the top and click it in. Simple as that. All right, let's go ahead and climb on out of here. And moving. Very impressive amount of comfort. Again, deep storage pockets. And like I said before, and like I said before, this is all real solid wood. Extremely comfortable. You do not have a glove box on this side, but just like the other side, you have a lower, lower vent. Well, everybody, I think that'll conclude it for the tour of this awesome conversion van. I know some of the newer ones you can get plush leather seating, flat screen TVs, all that good stuff. Like I said, guys, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to catch me next time. Always out and on the look for new stuff. So, have a good one. Take care.